This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine, it shine. All right, ladies, that's it for today. Remember, we are having a full dress rehearsal on Monday, so please be sure to bring your costumes. We have a very busy week coming up, so enjoy your weekend. Bye, Miss Megan. Bye, Madison. I'll see you on Monday. See you Monday. Hey, Madison. Good job today. Thank you. Light can't shine without darkness. Sometimes it's best to just keep looking for the light. Are you sure you don't want to dance again, Megan? You don't have to decide today. You'll know when you're ready. November. grew up, sweetie. You know, I think it was snowing the day I left. This stretch of road right here is where I got my first speeding ticket. It was, uh, it was not fun. <laughs> oh, and uh, my friend John uh, lived there. We used to hang out all the time, had a great time. He lives in Montana now. I wonder if he's getting snow like we are. Oh, uh, there's the arcade we went to when I was a kid. Blew a lot of quarters in that place. It's been a long time. Oh my goodness. Look. Look at the couch. We could use that. Maybe put it in your room. If you're nice, I'll come back and get it for you. What do you think? We're almost there, Megan. Almost there. 
lives there. This is where I grew up. What do you think? I used to ride my bike on the street. The old man down at the end of the block would yell at me. I wonder if he's still there. Okay, uh, looks like I gotta turn the gas on. It will be cold. Do you know how to do that? Hey, Aunt Karen wants us to come to dinner. She's so happy we're here. Okay, so the house should be warmed up in about 30 minutes. You, uh, pick out a room yet?
happens around this time of the year. I think it's the weather changing. You want me to get you something? No. I'll be fine. Just it now. Right. What do you think? Red or gold? I don't know. You decide. All right, red it is. How's the show going? OK. The girls, they're doing really good. We have a full dress rehearsal on Monday. I'm so proud of them. Honey, you gonna be okay for dinner tonight? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I just need to lie down for a little bit. Okay, well, I'm gonna go run out and pick up a few things. You wanna go? My dad used to say that. What's that? Nothing. I'm good. All right, I'll be right back. Hope you feel better. Me too. What are you doing ringing the bell? Yeah, yeah. It's How good to you? see you. You too. You. Megan Renee. It's good to see you. you are absolutely beautiful. Well, she didn't get a looks from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on in, out of the cold. All right, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. All right. You made it. Hey, how are you? Oh, it's good to see you, Bo. Good to see you. Oh, gosh. And you? How was the drive? It was uh, long, but uh, we're here. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thanks. I see you still have all your hair. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That upsets me a little. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's going to be great having you back in the neighborhood. You will. You will. Both of you. <laughs> Megan Renee, will you... It's Megan. Just Megan. Okay. You got it. You join me in the kitchen? So, uh, where's my niece? Oh, she's in her room. M. Yeah, she's recently discovered video games. Uh, we don't see much of her. I got you. I got you. Hey. Hi, Carl. I'm so glad you're here. Where's Mecca Renee? She's in the kitchen, honey, but uh, let's just... Yeah, we'll just call her Megan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How old is she now? She's nine. No. Can you believe it? That's insane. I know. Oh, oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, tell me about it. Have a seat. Oh, thanks. Hey, uh, thanks for the loan to help with the trip out. I really appreciate it. It's not a loan, Bo. Oh. Your family. Uh, Come on. You hungry? Yeah. I'm starved. Me too. She'll have dinner ready pretty soon. Oh, great. Anything you want to watch? Anything's just fine. All right. All right. So, um, what's new, man? What's going on? Well, a lot of things have changed since you left, Bo. Yeah. A lot of people are suffering. With all the mines closing down. Thankfully, mine hasn't. Yet. Well, I guess it's a good thing I'm not looking for a job in the mine then. I'm not sure I'd even fit in the tunnels anyway. <laughs> uh, are you still walking to work every day? Yep. 23 years. Same mine. Can you believe it? That's a lot of crawling around. It sure is. All right. Hey, did you get the heat on the house? I did. Thank you so much. Supposed to be single digits tonight. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you for bringing Carl and Megan home safely. 
I ask that they find love and happiness here. Please bless this food for our bodies and our bodies for your service. Amen. 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 Are you starting school here after Christmas? It appears so. I wish you could have been here for Thanksgiving. You still have that here? We do. And Tommy roasted a pig this year. Yep. You roasted a pig? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Your dad and I used to chase these pigs around the farm. Carl, you gotta be kidding me. She's never been to a pig picking. What, in L.A.? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Megan, what did uh, Aunt Karen have for you? Oh, I had gotten her some gloves and a hat earlier today. I thought she might like them. That was nice, wasn't it? She's gonna need a coat, too. This is in L.A., you know. Oh, I know. You don't have to tell me twice. Megan? Are you still dancing? No, not really. Who are you texting? Just friends. I'm sure you miss them. They're all busy. Sometimes it takes a while for them to get back to me. You know, I still have the dance studio. It's not Southern California, but I could really use the help. I haven't danced in over a year. Well, if you change your mind, the offer stands. Megan, I'm going to run out and pick up a few things. Do you want to go? I'm good. Okay. Well, I left your breakfast on the table. Megan? No, Dad. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll be back in an hour or so. No internet.
Whoa! I got it. Thank you. Thank you. I keep telling them they need those carts in here, not these boxes. <laughs> People... What's your name? Uh, I'm Carl. Carl? Yeah. Well, I'm going to help you because it oh. seems like you need some help here. You've uh, got four yeah. cans in here. you got a lot of room in here, bud. I do? Yeah. So you got four cans. Okay. All right. Well, I'm a pro, so I'm going to show you my ways. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um... Cans are obviously always at the bottom. We got our bread on the top. Okay. Pop tarts. You like pop tarts? Yeah, pop tarts. Who doesn't like pop tarts, yeah. right? Everybody yeah. likes pop tarts. I don't know how I missed these the first time around. My, I love. Oh, my daughter loves chocolate chip cookies. That's okay. I love cookies too. Okay, so she does get a few. Oh, after very generous of you. A while. How old's your daughter? I'm 14. Oh, okay. I'm the youth pastor here as well. Oh, All right. Oh. Yeah. If she ever wants to come down, we got a bunch of good kids downstairs. All right. Maybe. All right. Maybe. Ham salad? Do you like ham salad? If it's food, I pretty much like it. Well, we've got the best ham salad here. Okay. You're going to like it. Um, are you also looking for clothes? Possibly. Okay. I'm going to bring this to the front. You're going to go shop over there, and I'll meet you there later, okay? Okay. All right. Let's do this. Thank you. Jimmy, I said hi. I will. That's all right. Any luck? Yeah, I got a couple things for my daughter. Uh, Good. And you did say if I found anything, you could help. Yeah. Um, I found out. Wanted. Church janitor. Well, it says see pastor for more info, so let's go see the pastor. Okay. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Come in. Hey, Pastor. Hey, Luke. How's it going downstairs? Good, good. Pastor, this is Carl. Carl, this is Pastor Frank. Carl Deaton. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm great. How are you? If I don't remember me, do you? Of course I do. Oh, don't lie in church. Uh, uh, all right. All right. I, yeah, you caught me. High school. You had to lead in a play. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, I'm a bit younger. Wait. Shakespeare. Twelfth Night. Played one of the guys on the boat or something, but you. Now, I remember you. I get, yeah, third guy in the boat. I remember, I remember. All right, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. <laughs> what was it? What was it? Uh, be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and others have greatness thrust upon them. Yeah, did it better than I did. So that's not bad. <laughs> Heard you moved to Hollywood. I did. I was in Los Angeles for several years and just recently moved back. Luke here acts. Well, his youth group does at least. They're getting ready for this year's church Christmas play. You could help. Christmas is a week away. You need help? We're just a bit behind this year. A bit. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> yes. oh, oh, okay. We tend to be a bit behind every year. Yeah. You have a little faith. I think it's my faith that pulls us through each year, Luke. <laughs> Probably right. Um, your daughter, she could help. 
She could be a part of it if she wants. Oh, yeah. She's um, not handling the transition from Los Angeles to West Virginia too well. Oh. Uh, give her some time. And you move back to your old home place? Oh, yes, sir. Right down the road. Come in. Sorry to interrupt. Honey, we need you downstairs to help carry a few boxes. Guess that's my cue. Carl? This is Rhonda, our choir director, and she is fortunate enough to be my wife. I think he's the fortunate one. <laughs> Carl actually just moved back to West Virginia from L.A. Welcome back. Carl, if you need anything else, let us know. All right? You're in good hands. How old is your daughter? Um, she's 14. Hey, take a seat. Take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Wife? Uh, she passed about a year ago. Uh, I'm sorry, Carl. It was uh, unexpected brain aneurysm. My daughter, Megan, she's taken it very hard. They were extremely close. Now, is that probably why you moved back? Yeah, things got difficult in L.A., so I thought maybe being around family would be good for both of us. Look, uh, we'll keep you on our prayers. If there's anything you need, you know, you just let us know. Thank you. Um, I did uh, find this on the bulletin board downstairs. I uh, <laughs> need a job. I can do maintenance, uh, outside work, I can paint, whatever, whatever you need. This must have been up there for quite a while now. We used to have a janitor slash maintenance person on staff, but uh, we just got to the point where we couldn't afford it anymore. You know, with the coal mines shutting down at all, it's really impacted our membership here. I, uh, I understand, but uh, thanks for your time, sir. I'll tell you what, with all that's going on this month, we could definitely use some help. What about three days a week? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. A hundred dollars a day? That'd be, that'd be great, sir. Thank you. Call me Pastor or Franklin. Uh, thank you, Pastor Franklin. Thank you. Start Monday? Monday it is. Sounds great. Sounds right. great. It's a deal. I'll be here Monday. Well, hey, come to our services tomorrow. We'd love to have you. We'll be here. Of course, you won't be getting paid for that now. No. I get it. All right. Good deal. All right. Thanks. Oh, hey, Carl, what about the Christmas play now? Are you going to help out? Uh, yeah, it's only a week, but I'll, I'll do what I can. <laughs> I have faith. Well, that's one of us. <laughs> Thank you. Where'd you get those? In a box from the drawers over there. Oh my goodness. Did I see you dancing a minute ago? Nope. Oh my gosh, I can't believe these are still here. Oh hey, I got you something. Uh, got you a sweatshirt and a jacket from my old high school. Well, I guess it'd be your high school now too. What are these? Your grandma and grandpa were very creative. And uh, we didn't have a lot of money when I was a kid, so every year we'd pick a theme. And that would be our Christmas theme for the year. And this is the year that we had a Hawaiian theme, which is why Tom has no shirt. <laughs> you went to Hawaii? No, 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 no. We didn't go anywhere. It's just that, see, even in our dreams, we wanted to get out of West Virginia. So this is kind of a way of getting out of West Virginia without going anywhere because we didn't have any money. And it was just kind of something that we look forward to every year. Oh, look at that. That's Paris. I think that's the year I got a paint set for Christmas. A year after that, I think it was Egypt, yeah? Egypt, there it is. I guess that's pretty creative. Oh, it's more than that. Um, this is something that your Uncle Tom and I look forward to more than anything. So, if you could go anywhere for Christmas, where would you want to go? California. Except California. Let me get back to you on that. Oh, hey, I, I got good news. 
You bought me a plane ticket back to California? No, I didn't buy you a plane ticket back to California. I got a job today. And tomorrow, you're going to come with me. And you have to say yes. To where you work? Yes. It'll be fun. Are you trying to make my life more miserable? Yes, I am. Well, Papa Bear, you're certainly succeeding. We could have walked. Well, that would be exercise. All right, here we are. Go ahead and put your coat on and we'll go inside. I'm not wearing that. Where'd you get it anyway? It doesn't really matter where it came from. Just put it on. It's cold outside. I'm not going to have you walking into church on a cold day with no coat on. This is where you work? Yes. The church? Yes. Doing what? Maintenance. You mean you're a janitor? My job title is not important. Okay, it's a job. You put your coat on and go inside. John? Honey? Are you home? Dad? Is that you? Megan. Is that you? Megan? Dad? God, what is wrong with me? Megan, what? What are you doing? I was just putting him back. Come on, we're late. Emma, how are you? Did you miss me? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, get in there. Hi. Hi, I'm Megan. I am Luke, the youth pastor. Are you Carl's daughter? Yeah. I've heard a lot about you. Jump on in. Glad to have you. All right. Be quiet. Sit in the front. If you would, please turn your Bibles to Matthew chapter 1. This morning, I would like to continue our Christmas series on a person who often gets overlooked at Christmas time, Joseph. Okay, guys. So, you know, I'm a history buff. I could literally go to any bookstore. It has to be an old one. 
and then just look around at old dusty books about history for hours. Hours, literally. Don't laugh, I did that yesterday. Why did God choose Joseph to play the role of Jesus' human father? Well, I have a theory. And in Matthew 1.16, Matthew makes this family connection between Joseph and Abraham. There was a close connection in the type of men that they were. So God chose Joseph, I believe, because he knew Joseph would obey. So while I'm sitting there reading this book, and had a lot of big pictures just for me. I'm a visual learner. Um, it was all about the top 100 events, fall the Berlin Wall, World War I, the American Revolution, all huge events. One event I didn't see, and I thought that was odd. There was nothing there about the first Christmas. Did you know Mary, the mother of Jesus, is recorded speaking seven times? Yet we never hear a word from Joseph throughout the entire Gospels. Look at verse 24. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name Jesus. We had the baby in the barn. There, there's no hospital wing, there's no nothing. We put the baby in a food trough where, where cows and pigs eat. I mean, there was nothing glamorous about it. We see all these pretty nativity scenes and whatnot, but there's nothing to do with actually what happened. Joseph doesn't speak a word, but his actions scream off the page at us as we read about what he did. Joseph's motto would be the same as Nike's. Just do it. No games, no gimmicks, just do it. Just obey what God tells you to do. Obey God despite your fears. You see, think about the first Christmas. It's not like what you see downstairs in the nativity scene. It's not what you see all around at the malls and all the smiles, everyone getting presents, Christmas trees, lights. I mean, you don't have to have a lot of big gifts. You don't have to have the big Christmas trees. You don't have to have better lights than this person or that person. I don't care. Just be kind. Just be nice and be grateful. That's really all you have to do. Joseph's legacy and purpose was his son, Jesus. Your legacy is your children. Your purpose is to care for those children. I'll close with this question. If Jesus followed Joseph's example as a father, doesn't it make sense that we should, as parents, strive to be that God appointment in our own children's lives? This Christmas, don't forget about Joseph. Remember him. Don't be afraid. Obey God and live with purpose. All right, enough out of me. Let's pray, and then uh, you guys can go talk to your parents, all right? All right. Let us pray. In your heavenly name, amen. All right, guys. Go see your parents. Hey, hobo. What are you doing with my sister's coat? That's my sister's coat. My dad got this for me yesterday. Where at the rummy show? Do you not see? She has my sister's jacket, but she can keep it. Good. Get out. Go see your parents. We'll talk about it later. Are you okay? I'm fine. I want to go. What happened? Some guys are being jerks. I gotta go. I'm sorry. All right, Carl.
Hey, stop by later, okay? Bye. What's going on, sweetie? I want to go. Megan. Megan. Megan, talk to me. What, what's going on? How could you? How could I what? That stupid coat. Where did you get it from? Why? It was bad enough that it was ugly. But even better, it was someone else's. Megan. I got it at the church. You had given away clothes, and I knew you needed a coat. Are we really that poor? No. Megan, we're just going through a rough patch, honey, that's all. A rough patch? You call being in the middle of nowhere, West Virginia, no friends and no internet a rough patch? Not to mention the creepy vibes I get from that church. Creepy vibes? What are you talking about? Forget it. Look, honey, I know this isn't ideal, okay, but we can make this work. I want to go home. This is home. This is not my home. I have plenty of friends I could stay with in California. You can visit them again someday, okay, honey? I promise. But right now, we have to make this work. So now you're going to tell me how hard life is, how grateful I should be, how lucky I truly am? No. No, Megan. I love you so much. More than anything. And I have faith that we can make this work. But we have to help each other. We have to rely on each other. Can you do that? I miss her, Dad. I know. I do, too. <laughs> I'm going to the church this afternoon to rehearse the Christmas play. And come along if you like. The church has internet. Do I have to wear a coat? <laughs> no. What do, you want? what are you looking for out of this? Angel. Okay, Emma. Emma can be an angel. <laughs> Another angel? Or, or, or a lead. A lead? I can't believe you just said that. Yeah, he looks good. Right. No. Right. Another lead? Okay. Oh, I want lead. Great. You want another lead? Yeah. Um, what won't be at work, Robert? I heard that. Shut up. You last. What do you want, buddy? You made it. Yes, I did. Good, good. good. She doesn't want to play with us? Uh, that would be a no. I'm lucky at this point that she's willing to be seen with me. <laughs> I'm sure you're fine. So, uh, how can I help? Well, this is our theme this year. Christmas is awesome. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Yeah, I know. It's, it's awful, but the kids liked it, so we're just going to roll with it. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, what's going to go on here? Well, it's the usual kind of Christmas program. The pastor will say something, I'll say something. Rhonda plays on the piano, the choir does something over there, kids do some skits. We'll end with Silent Night. Something else and voila. Christmas is awesome. Christmas is awesome. You got it. See, See how quick you pick up? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. All right. 
This is our drama team. It's now team. Well, your drama team now. Kids, um, this is Carl. He's a big Hollywood actor. Everyone knows his name. Um, he is going to m make you act. So, um, do you have a script or costumes or lighting? Yes. My name's Tommy and I don't speak well in front of people. Okay. Neither do I. Uh, okay. I love to talk. She does. She does. Good luck. Oh, all Thanks, right. guys. Yeah, um, hang on. Um. Okay. <laughs> you know he's not real. Well, I mean, he is, but that one's just plastic. Do you got a sec? Sure. I'm really sorry about what happened earlier. Jason was out of line. There's nothing wrong with your coat. No biggie. I doubt you're the one who put the boys up to it. Mm. No, I didn't, but I, I'm so sorry it happened. It's cool. What? Nothing. It's kind of weird, isn't it? All this, the lights, the presents, everything. All of it started because of that right over there. Just kind of humbling to think. God sent his one son 2,000 years ago to be born in a barn. We do get a Christmas play out of it. We do. We do get that. But you know what else we get? Hope. Have you ever read the first Christmas story? Like the one from the Bible? Okay, stay right here. I'll be right back. Here you go. Have you ever had one of these? No, and I don't need Roy Brown's either. Trust me, if Roy Brown wanted this book, he would have picked it up a long time ago. If I get attacked or insulted in church by this Roy guy, I'm blaming you. You can blame me. I will take full responsibility for that. Okay, so um, Jason and Todd are arguing because neither one wants to play the role of Joseph. Because they feel like they'll be held financially responsible for the upbringing and education of the baby Jesus. Sarah and Vicky are fighting because they both like Jason. Uh, by the way, Jason doesn't like either one of them. And then uh, Tommy Jr. is crying hysterically because he didn't get his chocolate chip cookie at snack time. Ugh, teens are great. You're doing good, Carl. Your dad is awesome. Thanks. Go to work, okay? If you need anything, just call or stop by. All right. Okay. And okay, There's that one. Okay, come on, Carl. Only three keys. Come on. There we go. Alright. Okay. Ladies luncheon, eleven AM.
jackal. It's not a Christian book. Ooh, it's old. Makes it really good. Thank you. Thank you. to my office. Oh. oh, you scared me. I just tidied up a little bit, that's all. Thanks, Carl. Oh. Thanks. Just playing with you. Oh, thank you. Thank it's you. going to work out just great, Carl. Oh, wonderful. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. thank you. Hey, Carl, did you get any of this? Uh, no, I didn't. Looks great. Yeah. Still some left. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, do you mind if I uh, call my daughter Megan so she can join us? Sure. Help yourself. There's plenty. Great. Great. Thanks. You're welcome. Ooh, hey. There's some cool food down here. So you're gonna stay for a while and use the internet? Of course. Please don't stop. You know Beethoven? It was my last recital. I used to dance. Really? Would you show me? It's been a while. Just a little bit? how talented you are. Yeah. How do we not know that? I think she should perform in the Christmas program. I like that idea. It's up to Megan. She could perform right before the candle ceremony. You want to do that? I don't know. Please? Wouldn't hurt to try, sweetie. It would really add a lot to the program. I'm sorry. I can't. Megan! Should we go after her? No. It's okay. She hasn't danced since her mother died almost a year ago. It was the thing they shared since the minute little Megan's feet shuffled across the floor. She'd hit that dance stage and just light up. She lost her mother the day my wife died. But she also lost a big part of what gave her life purpose. <laughs> Tommy, don't give her any more pop. She's had enough today. Peace, Mom. Afraid not, Missy. So, Christmas morning. We'll have breakfast here, 
and then we'll open presents. Sound good? Sounds great. It's full day of football. Oh, you know it. You know, but don't forget Christmas Eve, the Christmas program at church. That's right. We're excited. So how's the skit coming? Oh my goodness, it's coming along so great. These kids are doing fantastic with just like a few days. Oh, it's unbelievable. And Megan, she was asked to dance. What? That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, but she said no. Dad? I just wish you'd reconsider, Megan. Dad, stop. I don't want to, okay? I don't understand why. You put all the effort in, all the practices, all the time. You've got a great talent and you're just letting it die. Sit down. No! I'm not a puppy! Why are you acting like everything's okay? I'm not okay! Carl. Megan, are you all right? He's treating me like a child. He's driving me crazy. I need to walk. I need... A break? Need... Yeah. Listen, your house is only three blocks that way, down by the church, and you know where that's at. Okay, you be safe. I'll talk to your dad. It'll be all right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Megan, your dad loves you very much, and he's having a hard time with all this, too. Oh, and Megan, I had a teacher call in for tomorrow. Can you stop by the studio and help? Great. Okay, now you text me when you get home. Text me when you get home. Okay. Where's she going? She'll be fine, Carl. She'll find her way. And so will you. You looking for something? Or maybe someone, little one? No. No, sir. They say that this statue is in honor of a ghost. Who is he? Used to be a lot of mines around here. Hazardous places. This particular mine used to use mules to carry the carts in and out. Filled with coal that the miners would dig way down in the ground. And one day, at the end of a shift, there was a rock slide. Ten miners trapped. Folks from the nearby town came to help. Hours went by, losing hope. Then all of a sudden, just like that first shift, them rocks shifted again. And they saw a light. Led him straight out of there. All ten miners, unhurt. And all they could recollect was hearing a voice and seeing that light. They waited for that eleventh miner, but he never came out of there. Many years later, his mine was running smoothly. It happened again. This time, a hundred miners trapped. Some said that they heard voices. Some said it was almost magical, almost as if God was down there with them. The rocks shifted, they saw the light, and were saved. Many said it was that miner from years ago. Some said it was an angel considering that both incidents occurred about a week before Christmas, almost relating it to the Christmas miracle of Christ. God talks to us in all kinds of ways, I guess. But how do you know? Even when we find ourselves lost and in the darkness. Light can't shine without darkness. Sometimes it's best to just keep looking for the light.
My mom always used to say that. What is it with this town? Good morning. Good morning. You had me worried last night. Sorry. It's okay, just don't let it happen again. So where'd you go? I saw the coal miner statue. Really? What do you know about it? Oh, your grandmother used to love to tell the tale of the coal miner statue. <laughs> I guess the real mystery is, uh, who is the statue, right? Hey, you know, your great-grandfather was one of the miners rescued that night. Really? Yeah. Grandma used to love to tell that story. I heard the story. You did? Who do you think saved them? Well... Grandma always said it was Jesus himself, since it was so close to Christmas and all. Remember Mom saying, light can't shine without darkness? Oh, I do. She'd sing to you every night. This little light of mine. That's the one. So what you getting into today? I promised Aunt Karen I would help out at the studio this afternoon. Oh, huh? that's cool. I should get going. Okay. Mind if I wear your coat? Uh, okay. What am I supposed to wear? I'm sure you can find an ugly coat about your size at the church. Check the lost and found. I'll do that. You be careful. That's progress, I guess. Ladies, this is my niece Megan, and she is a beautiful dancer. Used to be. Once a dancer, always a dancer. That's what your mother would say. Boys, your parents are waiting. Hi, I'm Cammie. This is my sister Tyler and Nevaeh, but we call her Vea for short. I can introduce myself, Cammie. Hi, I'm Nevaeh. They call me Vea for short. She just said that, Vea. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Megan, I've got an errand to run. Would you help them with their glee sides while I'm gone? I know you can do it. Okay, sure. So, let me see what you got. Hand me you go first.
Shene, Pique, Pique, walk back, and time's up, ladies. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. welcome. You ready to go? Yeah. You are a natural teacher. They were good students to work with. You know, your mom and I were going to open the studio up together. But your dad up and swept you and her off to California. Really? Yeah. I'm sure she's loving you being here right now. I hope so. Are you sure you don't want to dance again, Megan? I could really use your help in here. I know you miss her. You don't have to decide today. You'll know when you're ready. Oops. Sorry. Wow. What? Nothing, just, just a dream. What, what time is it? It's a uh, quarter to five. Hey, look what I got for underneath the stockings. A nativity scene. Really, John? Oh wait, that's not it. Oh. Check this out. We're not done. Uh huh? Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Just no. above the mantle, right here. No. Oh. Absolutely not. What? I need to get ready. Megan, what is it? What is it? What? You, you do this every year. And it's always right around Christmas time when the kids and I start pulling out the decorations. The kids aren't here anymore. Yeah, but they will be. And we should decorate like we always do. They're Just gone. Just because they're in college. They're, they're gone. John, everyone's gone. I mean, what, what is going on with you? What is going on? My dad. I miss my dad. I'm sure you do, honey. I'm sure you do. It was on Christmas, John. After I finally got the courage to dance again. The look on his face when he watched me. He looked so proud. I'm sure he was. That night, I danced for him. It was the last time he ever saw me dance. I'm sorry. He's, he's in a better place. Now he's in heaven. But he's coming back. Yes. No, Megan. He's not... Is that him? Coming, he's not coming listen, back. Listen, listen. I told you he was coming back. It's not him. Maybe because it's only November. No. That's not it. He's not... Yes, it is. No, he's not... Yes, coming. he is coming no, back, he's John. He's not coming back. You don't know what I'm going through. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. How could I know? After 21 years of marriage, I still don't know because you won't tell me anything about it. Is it your dad? Is it, is it me? Is it your mom? What is it, Megan, please? Is it the nativity scene? Is it Santa?
I miss you so much, Mom. Why did you have to go? Megan. Megan. Mom? Hey, sweetie. Hey, honey. I just saw... What are you doing here? I was worried. I came by to check on you. Are you okay? I'm all right. I'll do it. You'll do what? I'll dance. I want to dance again. Thank you for being a good dad. You'll know when you're ready. So I told you I had a surprise for you. This is a VHS tape. And this box of technological wizardry plays those videos. There's no way that thing's gonna work. Not possible. Oh, it's possible. And it's happening right now. I have created television.
denken darf. Yeah, just going through some old things. Honey, you okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm sorry. I want to tell you, John. I want to tell you everything. I just can't. That's fine. Not yet. Okay. We're a team. Okay, you and I are one. So, whatever we go through, we go through together. If you're dealing with it, I'm dealing with it. Because I love you, and I mean it. I feel like I'm going crazy. Am I? No. You're not going crazy. <laughs> but if you are, I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what? I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's go eat. And Santa can stay. <laughs> okay, if Santa can stay, yeah. then we're, we're in good shape. Okay. That's fine with me. Okay. I think it's very pretty. Where did you find it? Uh, a friend at work recommended it. Michael, remember Michael from work? I think so, Michael. I think so. Hello, good evening. Thank you. Uh, today we are featuring our dry aged filet mignon. Uh, I'll give you guys a few more moments to look over the menu, okay? Great, thank you. Everything looks so good. The Delmonico, yum. With the house in red, that's fantastic. Maybe the so swordfish caponata. Caponata, caponata, if I said it right, I'm gonna go get that. Let's start with something light. Something light. Light can't shine without the darkness. What? What? What did you just say? I wanna start with something light. After that. Nothing? Well, hey, did you uh, talk to our son? I guess he's bringing his girlfriend home from school. What about that? I guess she's from if, like, New York or New Jersey or someplace like that. She's a finance major. That ought to be interesting. Honey? Are we ready to order? Honey, are you ready? I am. Do you believe in miracles? Uh, you know, give us, give us a couple minutes here. Maybe a little more. John, earlier, you said to me that we are a team, that we are one. Yeah. Okay. When I was a little girl, I used to love to dance. Nothing made me happier. 
than to see the look in my mother's eyes when she watched me. I felt her pride. I felt her love. Like we were a team. Like we were one. When she died, so did that little girl. But one night, on Christmas Eve, she came to me. I saw her. I felt her. And I knew at that moment, she never left. She was always there, watching over me, picking me up when I fell down, comforting me when I was alone and dancing with me when I danced and crying with me when my father died. And now, now I know my dad is with her, with me, with us. like a team.